During the, during the course of this Memorial Day weekend, hundreds of people will paddle canoes on the Susquehanna between Cooperstown and Bainbridge in the annual General Clinton Regatta. Now, many of those paddlers got their start in Grumman's, aluminum canoes made in Greater Binghamton since 1952 by a company now called the Marathon Boat Group. During a recent visit to the plant in Marathon, I saw both the tried and true canoes, but also a new product line the company is now launching. Towards the end of World War II, Long Island-based Grumman Corporation adapted this aluminum stretching technology, the method it used to build fighter planes, to make light, tough canoes. Seven years later, those original canoe molds were part of the operation's move to Marathon, and they're still being used. Most of them came up from the island. Yeah, a lot of the stretchers were used to stretch fuselage uh, uh, sections, wing sections on the island during uh, World War II, actually. So there's some vintage equipment up there. That means, except for some tiny details, the 1,000 canoes Marathon will make here this year are identical to the ones our grandparents paddled. Basically, it's the same canoe they were building in 46. But on the corporate level, a lot has changed especially since 1990, when the aircraft company sold the canoe business. The new owner also bought a Scranton boat company, Duranautic, and brought it to Marathon. Since 1996, the plant's been owned by some of the managers and other local investors, who are now testing the waters of another market, pontoon boats. It, you know, it has a very nice appearance, but more importantly, the, the reputation of Grumman is a a well-built, strong boat, and anybody that knows a pontoon boat that does their homework, they can look and, and they can see that. And I think that's probably the big, one of the major things, that it's a well-built boat that's going to last just like the canoes are lasted. Each pontoon boat is made to order, which means there's no risk of getting stuck with unsold inventory. For those more interested in socializing than speed, there's even an electric model. The business is incremental for us, so it's, you know, during these tough economic times, it's really helped us, uh, you know, make our way. So, and every deal that we pick up, of course, there's, there's always a chance that they'll get into our canoes and boats as well, so all, all three of the facets of the business help each other. As for those canoes, they come in more than just aluminum gray now, and this new solo size is being marketed to kayakers who want more cargo capacity. In Marathon, Steve Craig, News Channel 34. And I can read your mind. I know what you're wondering. Why did Grumman move its canoe division to Marathon in the first place, way back in the early 50s? Well, it's because its Long Island plant was built by the federal government strictly for the production of military planes, so they had to move the canoe line out of there. Marathon offered lower labor costs and also rail service.